Hi everybody, my name is Tim and I am an addict. Um, I've, uh, I'm not going to make this all about my drug log, but I think it's an important, important part of my story. Ever since I was a kid, I've always felt different. Um, I got made fun of in school a lot. Um, my sister was murdered when I was 17. I'm getting a little ahead of myself, but even when I was a kid, like, I remember smoking cigarettes, and I mean, part of it was, I thought it was cool, but uh, I think, you know, a large part of it was, it, is it, it made me feel different, and I, I got a, I liked that, you know, I, I liked that a lot. And, um, <clears throat> like I said, I got made fun of a lot in school, and I really didn't start using until after my sister was murdered. She was murdered when I was 17. Um, I remember... That was the first time I had actually, I think, I got wasted. I mean, I tied one on. I, I totally, I, I used it to blot out the, you know, to blot out the memories. And um, I, I, I didn't know what else to do. Um, well, so I, I, I was an alcoholic very, I mean, very quickly. I mean, almost, almost as soon as, like, Right after that happened, I almost became, it started off like, you know, on the weekends and, uh, and then, um, I started smoking pot because obviously pot's easier to come by when you're under 21 than alcohol always is. But alcohol wasn't really, um, wasn't really a problem. We usually could find people to buy us alcohol and, um, a sad fact is, is, um, every one of the people that I called my friends in, in my formative years at that time is now okay two of them are dead one of them is still a very bad alcoholic and one of them has straightened up his life so four out of the five people pretty much fucked their entire lives up two of them are dead it just goes to show you what what this disease does to people it's it it's progressive it never gets better so anyway, let me get back to, so I started with alcohol, um, alcohol and pot, and then um, at the age of 19, I uh, started doing coke, and um, of course I would get all, you know, I'd, I'd get all hopped up all day long, and then I'd have to drink myself to sleep every night, and uh, there's so many nights I, I felt like, man, my fucking heart's gonna explode this time, you know, and then... That went on for a couple of years like that. Mind you, still drinking, still smoking pot all this time. That never changed. Them were always mainstays. And then I discovered meth. Um, now with meth, I, 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 did, I did stop drinking because um, they just didn't seem to, they didn't seem to go well together. Um, I would drink when I was coming down to get myself to sleep. Um, but other than that, you know, so, and then, and then I discovered opiates and that's where fucking everything totally fell apart. For the longest time I was a functioning addict, but once I, once I started doing opiates, that was the beginning of the end for me. And I still, I still took years and years and years before, um, it became apparent enough to me, I would say, I would say at least a good eight years of everyday use before, I mean, like, it literally became, and of course it started innocently, well, I say innocently, it started by me getting hurt, and um, the doctor gave me pain pills, and I thought, well, hell, you know, this makes me feel great, no hangover in the morning, no nothing, and, uh, and then the doctor took them away, well, I didn't like that, so I kept buying them on the black market. And, you know, one or two didn't wasn't enough, and then three or four wasn't enough, then four or five wasn't enough, and then I was taking handfuls at a time. And by this time, I'm so, I'm so addicted that you know how you're, I, I was dope sick if I didn't have anything. So heroin was cheaper. I mean, I mean that's the, that's the, the logic of an addict. Um, hey, this is more expensive. Uh, so, hey, let me go do this. This is uh, an even more dangerous product, and I'm going to and I'm gonna do it because it's cheaper. That's just the insanity of addiction. I've, I've got all kinds of insane tells I could tell you, and I probably will tell you at some point. 
So I started doing heroin. I started snorting it to begin with. Sorry about that, guys. I'm grabbing a cigarette. Um, I started I started snorting it to begin with. It didn't take long for me to um, to start banging dope. Um, and once you've crossed that line, like uh, there's really, it's really, I mean, there's nothing that really bothers you anymore. You know, um, I mean, it was t t toward the end of my my uh, needle usage. Um, I would pretty much bang anything I could get in a spoon, uppers, downers, what it didn't matter as long as I was, as long as I was out of my head, as long as I was in between here, right here then, you know, I was fine. And I, I never, I mean, I, like I said, I always felt different. And, um, I always felt like I didn't belong. I always, you know, I, I'd always wished I'd never been born. And, you know, woe was me, woe was me. That's the story of my life, you know, and that's as far back as I can remember. I'm talking like, I mean, seven, eight years old, I, I, I hated life, you know, and what seven, eight, seven or eight year old hates life? I mean, yeah, I had a lot of a lot of stuff that was bad that happened to me as a child. I'm not going to blame that. Um, I'm an addict, and um, you know, I chose to pick up. But once I no longer had the choice, <laughs> that's that's when your life gets crazy. So, and um, I'd like to mention I I am an I am an agnostic atheist. I I I um, and that's been a tough thing for me, um, being in twelve step programs. Um, they really like to, really like to push the, the, the God thing on you. Um, and he's a little better, you know, higher power. And I can get behind a higher power. I mean, anything can be your higher power, a group of drunks or, uh, you know, love or just, you know, being, being good for, for the sake of being a good person, you know, integrity. I mean, these are all things that are much, much bigger than I am. And, um. And I, I, uh, I remember I, when I first got clean, um, I was clean for 11 months and three weeks and I sabotaged myself. And I think I did that on purpose almost. Um, I think that year scared me and I went back out for shit, um, another four years and, um, I'm just, I'm just now, I mean, I almost got a year, I, I think... Uh, no, no, not quite a year. Probably about nine months right now. Um, and that's a, that's a big, uh, that's a big, um, a big thing to tell you because, uh, I've been, you know, I've been a little bit dishonest about how long I've been clean just because of the shame factor. I'm sure any addict that knows anything, you know, I mean, they under they, they would understand, but yeah, um, I, I, um, I haven't used, I haven't, I haven't used any opiates in nine months, um, I feel a lot better, you know, I mean, nothing, I'm still, I'm still, I still have problems up here, though, I still, obviously, am full of fear, and, um, you know, I owe a lot of amends, I, 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 there's a lot of things I've done in my life I don't understand why I did them, I mean, I do understand, it's because I was a selfish, self-centered prick, and I was full of fear, um, now, if, if any newcomers are listening to this, now, I want you to know that I do not, I do not discriminate against anybody. I don't care if you're an atheist or a Christian or a Jew, to, uh, or a Jew or a Muslim. We're here to get clean. That's our goal. That's our only goal. So that's, that's what kind of upsets me a little bit about AA and how often and how hardly, or how hard, hardly, how hard they push the God thing. It's supposed to be a program of spirituality, not a program of religion. And I don't believe that you necessarily need to believe in God to be a spiritual person. Being a spiritual person to me is just being the best me and being the most productive and kind person I can be in society. To me, that's what, that's what spirituality is. So, um, I just wanted to tell you a little bit about myself. Um, I'm going to be posted more videos. I am going to be reading out of the basic text. Um, I'm going to tell you some stories. I'm going to read some stories out of the basic text and um, hopefully um, we can go on this journey together. I don't, I don't care how long you've been clean. I don't care if you're clean now. 
the only the only requirement is just like NA. The only requirement is the want to be clean, the desire to be clean. That's all that matters to me. I don't care what your drug of choice is. I don't care if it's sex, food, whatever, drugs, alcohol. It doesn't matter. If you're a trash can junkie, if you'll use anything like I like the kind of person I was, it doesn't matter. I just I wanna I wanna do this because I think this will help my recovery as well. Because if I have someone to talk to and people that can relate to me and I can relate to them, then this is going to go a lot better. So, like I said, my name is Tim. I'm an addict. And if you ever have any questions, don't be afraid to comment. I will answer your comment. It might take me a while, but I will answer your comment. Right now, we don't have many subs. So, if you have a question, it'll probably get answered pretty quickly. So... That's all I have for, for now, and this, I want you to know, it was really hard to show my face, but I didn't just want to be a voice behind a screen. I wanted you to see me. I'm, I'm an addict. I am Tim. I am an addict. I'm a real person, a living, breathing, feeling, hurting, full of fear person. And, and yes, I've been clean, but that doesn't change the fact that I'm still sick. I might be not using right now, but tomorrow I could go out and use. I'm not promised tomorrow. Yesterday is gone. Tomorrow isn't here. It's not promised. So please, please stay in today. And if it takes, if it takes a minute at a time, you know, whatever. If you have to sit on your hands, but do something. Go to, uh, you know, a chat room. Talk to another addict. Pick up that phone. Do something. But don't pick up today. You don't have to use if you don't want to use. That's all I got. Thanks.